Welcome back guys. I'm going to start off today's episode with a story that happened last night. So it's my first adventure with this boat. What ended up happening was I didn't have the tools I needed to, to finish the demo on the couch section and I need to get a jump on the electrical systems. They are a jumbled mess of wires that run everywhere. So this is some of the wiring that runs to uh, the engine, to the dials, to all that stuff. So I figured let's get a jump on that. First thing I did was check all the wires for the generator and then found where they go, connected everything to power, was able to find the switch where the generator is turned on. It's located right over here. Saw that the lights came on, uh, was able to crank the generator over. It didn't start because there's no diesel connected to that generator right now, but at least it was good news because I was able to get the, the generator to turn over from the switches that are on board. Next step, I was like, okay, cool. I need to get this engine running. Um, it's disconnected from diesel. Let's just see if I can get it connected to the switches and just turn it over. Um, that way I know that you know it's at least working with the electronics before I drain all the fluids and then do all the maintenance that I need to do this motor. So I found all the wires, connected everything to my 12 volt battery, uh, found the switch and then hit the switch and bam, like the engine kicks on, engine's running. At first it's like, okay, cool. I got a running engine. Um, obviously there's some diesel left in the lines, probably not a lot. And cool. Look outside through the window, realize the boat is moving. Like we, we are moving, we're moving. Holy shit. Run upstairs to the deck, immediately turn the steering wheel water left so that the boat is at least moving along the mooring because my mooring is connected on the left hand side. And start praying to all the gods that the mooring is gonna hold. Next thing that comes to mind is, shit, how much insurance do I have? Like, how much insurance do I have in case this thing gets loose and I start bumping into random boats? Because again, I don't know the condition of the rudder. I don't know how well this thing steers. At the time, my neighbor Chris is outside on that boat and the wind is howling. So I'm like, Chris, I don't know how to shut this thing down. He goes, okay, cool. I'll be over in a second. Jumps on this dinghy, comes aboard. In the meantime, I'm looking for the transmission neutral switch. It's usually located right by the uh, steering wheel. Start to work the transmission switch, nothing's happening. So once I realize, okay, we're just doing circles around this mooring, like this boat is just circling the mooring. I go back in here and then try to kill the motor. Disconnect all the wires from the battery. Normally that would kill the engine because uh, the gas engine has spark plugs and once the spark plugs aren't getting any power, engine shuts down. This is a diesel, it operates on pressure. So diesel gets injected, piston comes up. Once there's enough pressure, the diesel ignites. That didn't work. None of the kill switches that are located right over here are working. So nothing's working to kill this engine down. I frantically start to disconnect the diesel supply line, thinking, okay, whatever diesel was in there is, is not gonna last for long. We're still circling, by the way. That didn't work. So grab my, my socket, and start disconnecting the actual fuel rail that goes to the injectors. Pull that, that's not working. At this point, Chris got off the boat, went to go to another neighbor who knows something about diesels, comes back and he's like, hey, starve it for air. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Why did I not think of that? So immediately I pulled the, 
the filter off the air intake, I put my hand over the intake and the thing shuts down. That was about the longest 10 minutes of my life, not knowing if I'm gonna be out to sea with a motor that just won't die, just sipping on diesel that I don't know where it's getting. Yeah, not, not a good situation. Well, long story short, after getting in there and looking at everything, the kill switch wasn't connected to the engine and the transmission switch wasn't held in. So the retaining pin that holds the transmission line to the transmission fell out and the cable wasn't connected. <laughs> On top of that, this engine is water cooled. So once this thing got running, I'm I'm worrying about frying this motor because it, it needs it needs cooling. I'm not sure how long this thing's gonna run. I can't shut it down. So I get in there and I open up the um, the supply line so this thing can take on water. And immediately the bilge starts to take on water and I figure out I have a serious oil leak because now there's water and oil coming into the bilge, which is unfortunate because all that work I did with the diapers was to no avail. Now there's a whole bunch of salt water and oil back in the bilge. All my hard work was for nothing. I had to do it all again. So that was my first adventure with this boat.